Hello, everyone. It's Pastor right here tuning in to read to you a another for another day, the Good News Daily, written to you by a highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess Bibi Angel. I'd like to give honor to them for um, their obedience, their dedication, and answering the call on their life so that I may be able to bring to you uh, this daily devotional. So today, our text is titled, Faith That Works. And I do have the baby here, and she is learning how to just really throw everything on the floor. <laughs> so let us go ahead and get started. Romans chapter 12 and verse 3. It says, God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. I know we've heard that scripture over and over and over again. And the measure of faith, that means everybody has enough faith in them. First of all, we have enough faith just to believe in Jesus Christ, to know that he is the son of the living God, that he is risen, that he is alive, that he lives in us today through his spirit, the Holy Spirit. So we have enough faith to believe all that. We have enough faith that when we pray, we believe that, right? That what we pray, what we ask for is actually going to come to pass, right? So let us see what the prophets have in store for us today. So I'll be reading the Good News Daily from my iPad right here. And it says, faith is the currency of the kingdom that gives you the ability to bring heaven to earth. We have all been given the same measure of faith. Oh my goodness, same measure of faith, salvation. We all believe in Jesus Christ, believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So God, we know that. We all have been given the same measure of faith. So our baseline is the same. Our scripture for today lets us know that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. My faith is not any more powerful, powerful than yours. It's all about what you do with your faith. What is it that you do with your faith? Your faith. How do you exercise your faith? How do you increase your faith? How do you grow your faith? It tells us right here, the prophets say, faith is based on knowledge, information from the word of God. So what do you do with your faith? Are you increasing your faith, reading your faith? Do you understand your faith? Do you know your faith? How are you growing your faith? Simply, it's by information based on the knowledge in the word of God. If you load your spirit with the word of God, your faith will become unconscious. Faith works because the word is in you. Hallelujah. The word is in me. The word is in you. That is how this faith works. The faith, the measure that God has given to all of us. It says, and the word in you will respond to your situation. What you put in is what you get out. Faith is like a muscle. You must use it for it to grow. You have to use your faith. You have to use your faith. If you don't use your faith, apparently it, it's not growing. If something is not growing, it's stagnant. It's like something um, like a human. If a human is not growing, then we know it's just stagnant. It's there. It's not getting, it's not getting any taller, any bigger. No more knowledge is coming. It's just stagnant. And just as a, as a child who doesn't grow, then there the doctors diagnose them, have all these diagnoses, and you have to train them and teach them a certain way. Until if they stop growing, then we call them delayed. We call them their diagnosis for such a thing. So can you imagine if our faith isn't growing? If we isn't, if we aren't strengthening our faith and growing it, what is it? Is it stagnant? Just like a dog. A dog is generally a toddler. It, it becomes no more than a toddler. You're always going to have to feed it and you're always going to have to clean up behind it. The knowledge that it has never grows in that area. So you're always going to have to do something, maintenance, do something with that animal. So let us continue and see what the prophet said for us. You must use it for it to grow. When a problem comes, that is not an opportunity for you to be destroyed. Oh my goodness. It is an opportunity to exercise your faith. So when something comes up, what word of God comes to your mind? Comes to my mind. When something comes up, situations arise. If I need something, something is before me and I'm like, okay, I'm starting this business. What avenues do I need to take? I don't know anything. Let's say, for instance, if marketing or production or, or okay, I have this idea, start a website. 
So now I need to exercise my faith. Lord, I need you to lead and guide me to tell me where do I start? Do um, Yes, I need the knowledge. So what do I do? I have to use the knowledge. I have to read. I have to learn. I have to go to Google. I have to see what the other people have gone before me and done. How do you start? What well, YouTube is free. So I would start there. I have to start somewhere. So I have to gain knowledge. Knowledge on how to create a website. How to create a web-based business how to build a website and then i have to consider with the knowledge that i gain am i willing to put in this knowledge to am i willing to put in the knowledge the work that i'm gaining from this knowledge from youtube which is free or knowledge that's from online that is free blogs information that people have put out for me how am i stretching my faith now that i am growing my knowledge because what comes in what's in me is definitely what comes out of me so now that brings us hey, it's an ex it's an opportunity to exercise my faith in whatever area I'm growing in, whatever area I'm moving in. So to God be the glory. So right now we're at our prophetic declaration. And with this prophetic declaration, I'm going to say it out loud. Repeat it. Say it after me so that you too we agree together on this thing it is a declaration we are decreeing and declaring this into the atmosphere it is coming to pass it is done in the name of jesus so let us begin it says i have the god kind of faith working in me my spirit is loaded with the word of god and when trouble calls my name faith answers my faith is sufficient and it will not fail. Hallelujah, hallelujah to God be the glory. My faith is sufficient and it will not fail. Now we're going to go over to the further study, which if you download the Good News Daily and you're familiar with them, then you know that there's always another scripture at the end to continue, to further study and to continue reading. And this one... We're going to go to Hebrews. It says Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So it tells us at the beginning, it's like three parts here. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who is him? Jesus Christ, God, our Father. It is impossible to please him without faith. Everything we have to do to please God, get his attention, is what? We have to move by faith, right? And it says, part B, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. So we got faith and belief in the same sentence here. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. That is our first thing of faith right there. Because we came to God by our faith that he, give us, he has given us. We have to believe that he is. And the last part, see here, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So even to seek God, to get to know God requires faith. You have to dive in and to know that he is there listening. To know that he is seeing you seek him and follow him and read and worship him for all that for you to know that he receives that that it has gone up it has gone up before him as a sweet smelling savior guess what it takes and requires your faith so that brings us to the end and i'm pastor a and i'm never never out of good news but i am out of time so and until next time guys i love you jesus loves you more and i'm signing out and um till next time bye guys The Good News Daily is a great evangelizing tool. It is written by His Excellency, Ambassador Prophet Hubert Angel and Madam Prophetess B.B. Angel. All right, you can download their very own copy of The Good News Daily from goodnewsworld.com. This is the website. And you can see here everything. Hit download Good News Daily. Download your free digital copy of the Good News Daily. The Good News Daily is translated into many different languages. I'm sure there's one on there you can find for yourself and for someone else. Head on over to goodnewsworld.com and download your very own PDF version. It's free and it's just for you and share it with someone. 
This makes the Good News Daily a great evangelizing tool. When you download it, this is it. It's a PDF. You'll be able to open it and download it, read it right from the web, or download it into your device.